Welcome back everyone. It's Renee at Lovely Lavender Wishes. I hope you're having a very blessed day today. So we're going to continue on. Let me show you what I have done so far. Okay, so one thing I did learn before um, I can sew anything, I'm going to still keep everything apart because I realized it would be easier for me to take like pieces, like for instance, like this whole piece out to sew this piece, for example. So before I start sewing all my folders in and stuff I'm going to be decorating each section first and then I'm going to put this whole thing together because as I was doing this I was like "Ooh, if I sew this it's going to be super hard because then I'll have the whole book attached it'll be super hard to get this part under the sewing machine if I need to or what have you so I'm going to do it section by section so let me show you what I have accomplished let's see here okay so we finished or I finished <laughs> the um cover that's going to go right here on our folio part so this is what I did I sewed it across the top here I've got the chain here I sewed this piece on I I sewed and glued all of this and then we finished the little tag the little journal card the little mermaid thing a little mermaid charm in here so this is going to be the cover of the folio that's going inside the main journal. So here's the main journal, you know, which I still have empty. Um, and then we have the mini journal that's gonna go in the main journal. And then this journal is gonna go in this journal. So little by little, we're getting there, you know, layer by layer. So that's the cover. Then you flip it open and we have a, um, Tuck spot here, I've got a paper clip here, so it's not gonna go all the way in, but we made this um, piece the other day, or I started to, so here's the finished product. You can see the embossing on there, so it makes it look wet. It's all glued and sealed. Here's the card, the journal card. So this is going to slide in right here. Um, and it's not going all the way in it. And I just realized, I just see this came up. So, oh, that's right. Because I only put a little bit of glue on here because I am going to sew all that in when I sew these in. So it's still like temporarily on there. It'll be all secure when I'm done. <laughs> okay, so that's a tuck spot. You flip it open, you're gonna have two pockets here and that's all gonna get sewed. Let me move this. This is what we're gonna work on today, the clear um, window. So we're gonna work on that today. So when this flips open, you have a pocket here and then a big pocket here. I need a, I need a card or something that I can slide in here to show y'all. But this is a pocket right here, this is a pocket right here. Then this flips open here. Um, so I, I sealed, or I, let me, let me see if I can pull this out. Okay, so here was the envelope. So I did, I did the flap of the envelope, I glued it to the inside of this pocket here. That's another reason why I'm not sewing until the very end. I'm just sewing individual pieces. So this is attached there. So when you open this up, this is a pocket here. This is a tuck spot up here. And then I sewed all this. I did what I always do. I just sat in front of the TV and just, you know, sewed all my little sequins on, hand sewn. Here's a pocket. So this was an envelope. So this is going to be a pocket here. You flip this over. And this is gonna be like a little tuck spot. This was embossed, I embossed it with um, a stamp that I had by Bo Bunny. Um, I guess just like a compass stamp. And then I had this map that I kind of, um, I was going to burn the edges, but I just kind of tore the edges and made it look burnt. So it's not truly burnt, but it looks burnt, doesn't it? <laughs> so that goes in here, um, a little tuck spot here. And then here is the flip down right here so this part is going to get sewn in between these two file folder pieces right here once I sew all this um, so I'll glue this in here first and then it'll all get sewn in so this flips open into a journaling card and then on this side we have a little tuck spot here and then this is a bigger tuck spot which I'm going to have to I have to fill all these yet too okay so that is what I have accomplished up to this point so let me put this back on just so I know where everything goes. All eventually all this will be sewn, glued, glued, sewn, the whole bit. Okay, let me grab my seat that keeps falling down, y'all. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to work on, let me see, this part. 
So this was the part that flapped out. Oh, another thing I did, if you can see right here, I noticed that as I kept flipping this, this um, little edge was, it was probably going to get weak. So what I did is I reinforced it. I just cut out a rectangular piece of file folder, you know, just another piece, and glued it in here. So that would, that would um, enforce this bendable part right here. So before I sewed and glued all this down, I put this piece here. It goes right here. It blends right in. You can barely even tell it's there. So, and this will be covered up. This, this part will all be covered up. So that is gonna enforce that, that hinge part right there. Okay, so I had these two pieces and this is going to be like a see-through window um, pocket. See-through window pocket, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> so for this side, I just wanna do like a journal page for that side. So let me grab all my stuff here and let's get a craft in. Oh, and I also found this book, y'all, in my garage, Mermaid Wisdom. And it's got some really cool pictures in here of mermaids. So I am going to be using some of them. Not, not a lot, but some of them. I mean, I just think some of these are pretty cool little edge pieces. I might, you know, tear some of these out and put them on journal cards or put, um, you know, as decoration throughout. So, but I'm going to definitely use that for one of my tags. So put that to the side. Okay, so let me grab all this. Let's get crafting. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is do a journal card. For the, I wanna cover this part. This is gonna be just a journal par, par, part, card, whatever. <laughs> journal it, journal spot. That's the word I'm trying to come up with. And again, I'm just gonna um, measure it just a tad shorter than the actual piece so we can just have some edges sticking out. I've got my ratty old shirt on y'all. This is so comfortable. Oh, and y'all, you'll be so proud of me. I switched out the blade yesterday. I'm like, okay, I keep saying I'm gonna switch it out. I finally switched it out. And now I'm used to pressing so hard with my other blade because it was so dull. And now this time I just go like this, bloop. And look at that, it is so easy. I'm like, oh, why didn't I switch it out ages ago? But you know, again, y'all know, I like to do everything the hard way, hey. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I've been doing it the hard way this whole time. And now look, no frayed edges either, yay. Like, it's just, I don't know. I get lazy, y'all. I get so lazy. And it literally took me two seconds to um, switch this whole thing out. Okay, I'm going to just cut that little corner piece off. If I can find my scissors, here we go. So, yeah, we'll see how far we can get. We'll work on this, and then um, I'll see how far we can get. We can maybe work on another little part. Otherwise, we'll just do part eight, part nine, part 10, whatever, just keep going until, until it's done. I'm gonna round that off a little bit more. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab the ink and ink this up. But it's Friday, woohoo, it's Friday. <laughs> Not that my schedule changes like at all on Friday, but I don't cook on Friday evenings because my husband usually brings home dinner. And so I said, are you bringing home dinner tonight? Just anything, I don't even care. Just anything on the way home from work, just you know, grab it and bring it home. Because I don't want to cook. So I don't cook on Friday night. It used to be like our pizza night, but y'all, I'm still trying to lose this weight. So I said it has to be something healthy. <laughs> so no pizza. Dang it, no pizza. I can do it, like I'll, I'll do like a cheat day, like every couple weeks or so. Um, but I'm on a roll, I'm doing good, so I wanna keep it going since, you know, since it's going good now, let's just keep it going. I have lost a few pounds, it's slow but steady. And it'll be exciting when, you know, if and when I reach my goal. <laughs> if and when. I shouldn't say say, I shouldn't say if, right? I should just say when I reach my goal. I'm gonna reach my goal eventually. Did I do it right side up? 
Yes, okay, I'm so busy talking y'all. Okay, so there, that's gonna be the journal part. So you can either put a picture here, or you can journal. It's light enough that you can journal. I like, I love journaling on pieces that has like a faded background. And then when you write, it just, I don't know, for some reason, my writing is atrocious to myself. I, I find that it's atrocious. So when I write, it just makes it look prettier when there is like a background picture behind it. I don't know, maybe it's a psychological thing, but I think it does, it, you know, it is kind of cool too. Okay, so for this one, okay, let me move that. Oh, whoops, okay, move that out of the way. So this one, I have this big oval um, stencil and I'm thinking I am gonna cut an oval out of this. So this this envelope is only gonna be see-through on one side. Not It's not a see-through envelope then, I guess. You can't see all the way through it, but you're going, you're gonna have like this big opening on this side. So I'm going to trace that. If you have, again, um, oh, what are those, you know, a die cut machine with an oval, then use that. I did order some. I finally ordered a couple, like just uh, shapes like this from AliExpress, but you know, AliExpress takes a while to get them. I'm still waiting for a few items to come in. Well, I shouldn't say maybe 15 to 20 items. I guess that's a few to come in. Um, and then when it all comes in, I'll show y'all what I got. I'll do another um, haul video, you know, what I got from AliExpress. I got a few of the things in so far, but you know, they all come in sporadically from different stores and such, so. Okay, so right now I'm just cutting this, doing it the old fashioned way, which I like because it just gets my hands all in it and I like, um, I don't know, I like doing things old fashioned way sometimes. I mean, the die cut would be easier and faster and what have you, but maybe not because by the time I get my die cut machine out and get the die cut out and put the paper in, I could be done doing this. I'll save that for something else, probably for like a little tag or something. And I'm going to grab all this. So welcome, welcome to, I've been having a lot of uh, new people um, seeming to find me. You know, they'll, they'll mention that they were like, you know, searching around for something and they, they stumbled upon me or whatever. So welcome, glad you can join us. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that my videos at least interested you enough to watch for a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, excited that you're here. Welcome to all the newbies, all the new subbies. I've been getting quite a lot lately. Um, so thankful for that. I'm glad you're enjoying it and I love all your comments, y'all. Love it. So welcome, hope you enjoy. You know, it all it really is, is me just blabbering on to myself, to the camera, and y'all can just <laughs> decide if it's something for you or not. Okay, let's see, what else do I wanna do? I wanna put a top up here. This is gonna make this, I'm gonna sew this, so it'll make it a little bit stronger, because this is kind of, this is gonna be really fragile right around there. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I don't go too deep in here. We'll just do like a little one like that. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, put that there. And then we'll ink this part up. So this way you'll know that it is a little pocket. Yay. Okay, so on this piece, I was thinking I am going to use, I'm gonna use a combo of this paper this is what's gonna go here. So we gotta figure out where and what. I want it to look like water. Y'all, what do you think? Doesn't that look like water? Let me try to look at that. Can you see that better? Versus, it's got some silver embossing on it. So kind of like bubbles and stuff. You got dark spots. So this was left over from my, um, uh, my winter journal. Actually, I like this dark part down at the bottom too. So I am going to cut this. Across the top there. We can use this for something else. Okay. Let's see. I like this. Probably be easier if I do it this way. I can see where I'm cutting. Okay, I'm gonna cut this. Use 
that for something else. And then this part will get inserted right in there. Look at that, it'll just fit. I'm gonna just cut this little corner off here so it doesn't peep out, just like so. Okay, so I'm gonna just glue this in temporarily. It will get sewn in, but the glue will hold it. And then press it flat so it doesn't get all crinkly. This was acetate paper or the transparency paper that I put um, alcohol ink on. So if you want to make your own, I have a video on how I did this. It's probably, let me think, I think it's lay under my winter journal um, series when I was doing my winter journal. So look at that. So yeah, this is just alcohol ink on acetate paper. But I love how it turns out. Look at it. Trying to get it so you don't you don't see the glare. So it looks like you know different dark and light spots of the ocean and bubbles and you know little bubbles bubbling up and all that. And then I did um, do some silver embossing on it as well. But hey, I already had it made, so let's use it. It's gonna go perfectly. Okay, so this is going to go. So if you want to make any kind of the you know anything like this, any kind of pocket like this, this is how I'm making mine. So that's gonna go here. But behind it, I'm thinking of just attaching the sticker paper to the, the back. So when this is under, oh yeah, look at that. You'll see even water under it. I don't know if y'all, can you see that? Or is there a light, a glare? Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, we're gonna do that. So if there's nothing in this pocket, you're still, that's what you're gonna see. Okay, do you like that better or do you like that better? I like that. It looks more like under the sea. Okay, made the decision. <laughs> we're just, we're going with it. Okay, so this is sticker paper. So I am going to, hopefully I'll be able to see my marks. I'm gonna cut it right there and right there. Okay, let's cover this up. You go over there, you go over there. Okay, where was my mark? Y'all. Where'd it go? That's the thing with the sticker paper. Okay, here's this mark. How do I, oh, it's like right there. I hope that's it. Otherwise I'll have to cut it again. Ugh. As long as it covers up the, the oval part, you're not gonna see the rest because it'll be inside a pocket, so, but. I just figured I'd just, it'd be easier just to cover the whole thing. And this is another reason why I don't like sewing everything together until the very end because I'm opening things up, I'm inserting things, I'm adding things, you know. Um, it just makes it easier to work on the inside of things when everything's in separate pieces. Okay, y'all, now we've got to, okay, I'm just gonna cut this off as an angle right here because you're not gonna see that anyways. Make it easy. Okay, now we've got to try to stick this on straight. Because once this sticks, this sticks. Okay. My hair is getting in it. Stay out. Okay. And then rub all the bubbles out. <gasps> Look at that. Ooh, so pretty. Y'all, see how it's catching, the, look at that, the hologram that you get. I love it. And this will be on top of here. So when this turns to the light, look, you'll get the hologram through that too. I'm trying to get it off the glare of the light above me, but oh, that'll look cool. Now I'm wondering if I wanna keep this there or if I should cut that out. I might wanna cut that out. So let me, let's see if I can. Okay. 
Okay, where's my little scissors? Let's see if I can lift this a little bit or if it's pretty stuck down. Okay, I can lift it. I wonder if I take my X-Acto knife and just gently cut this if I can. I want to cut it, but I don't want to cut through the... Hmm. I don't want to cut through the um, back. Should have cut this first, y'all. See, I do everything the hard way. This would have been a lot easier if you cut it first. Well, you can all watch me do it the hard way. This is the way not to do it. But you know, if you get something down and then you think of something later, you can still go in and do it and fix it and. It'll still work out. Just might not be as easy. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, there's a little piece showing right here. Y'all know me. My my OCD is kicking in. <laughs> I don't. I really. I joke about it. I don't have OCD. Um, well, maybe I do. I don't know. I never. I mean. <laughs> I mean, there's certain things that just, I'm like, I have to fix it. Well, you know what? It's going to be harder to fix than it is just not to, so we might just leave it. Okay. 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 So then the next thing I'm going to do is take this piece to my sewing machine See, it's so much easier to take just like this one piece versus taking the whole book if I had all this sewn together. So I'm gonna take this one piece, take it to my sewing machine, and I'm going to sew around here. Actually, what I'm gonna do first is sew around this, maybe a couple times, just give it like, you know, like a squiggly stitch around there, and then I'm gonna come and stitch all that together. And so this will be one big, pocket so I'll do that off camera so I'll put that by the sewing machine so in the meantime I would like to get a tag ready for in here so I'm going to cut this across and try to figure out how this will fit in here um, let's see I'm gonna try to, it's on a, it was a little wonky, so let's go from here to maybe here. That should slide in and out pretty well. I give myself some space on each side. Let me see, from here to here. Yeah, if I stay close to the edge with my sewing, that should slip in and out pretty easily. Okay, where did my, here we go. get some of this away off my desk okay so this is just the first part of the tag that I want to make this was a piece that I used in my jelly on my jelly plate just goofing around with inks and such okay wow this will be the whole thing so gonna be a big old tag. We're gonna cut it right across the bottom here. Oop, a little bit more. Just a tad more. Yeah, it's gonna stick up just like so because probably when this the sewing goes around here Might be able to get pushed down right here all the way but I want some of it to keep pe peeping out at the top so either way is good okay so let's back this okay I don't need this I'm willing to move that let's back it with some of this so what do I want as my 
And I'm gonna sew this too, so right now I'm just gonna quickly glue. I do that all the time. We'll just go from here to here. Make it easy. I love having a couple extra file folders handy that I um, coffee dyed or sprayed because it's just perfect for the strength for tags, you know, um, strengthening up the paper, using for backing, and then it's something cool to write on to. Okay. I might do something something to the back okay let's see how would we want this tag to go we'll just cut it like that flip it over cut it like that. and then I'm gonna ink this part up so this is just the base of the tag that's going to go in that oval um, open pocket, whatever this is. <laughs> and I used an oval because if you guys are, have been following along, I used ovals already in the book um, in the other signatures a couple times and I'll probably use some more throughout. So I just try to stick with, like if I start with circles, I mean, I'm gonna, I might have some circles in here too because I have I have something like this, like a circle shell and stuff, but um, I've used ovals already. So I'm trying to, this the, you know, keep the same type of shape, waves and ovals and such. Um, because again, that brings cohesion to your journal when you, you know, versus if you're using like triangles and ovals and squares and everything. I mean, I am using rectangles and triangles and, or not, not triangles. I'm using rectangles and such for, um, you know, like pockets and stuff, you know, but, um, Overall, if I have a shape, I try to bring it throughout. Like starfish, I'm using starfish straw, so we're using the stars and stuff. Okay, so this is one of the images that I thought was really cute. And it was long, and I thought this would be really cool to put in. So I'm going to just start tearing up this book, because um, I'm probably not gonna keep it anyways, so I just like the pictures. And I love like this picture, so I might use that on something or maybe make this into a tag or something. And then there's this one on the back, which I think is so cool. I might have to make that into a tag or cut it out and put on a tag. That would be cool on this tag too, right? No, but see, I want something, it's gonna have to be long. I might make one of these into, hmm, into like a writing board or something. That just popped into my head right now. So I have to keep it in the back of my head, y'all. Okay, so let's tear this one out first and we'll, we'll work from there. I keep getting so many ideas, y'all, as I am crafting. I'm like, oh, I could do this and I could do that. And then it just gets overwhelming because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna get this journal done because, okay, I need to get those words off. Like I'm never gonna get this journal done because I just keep coming up with more and more ideas. And I, my mind's already thinking already about the next two or three journals I wanna do. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I just, I can't get it all done. And there, and I still want to, you know, do all my mixed media and my collaging and just so many other things. And, well, we'll get there eventually. At least I, I like the idea that I have enough to keep me busy versus um, being like, oh, there's no more ideas. I have nothing else I can do. So that I don't think I'll ever have a problem with. I mean, I do go through my dry spells and such, but or sometimes I just get tired. I'm like, okay, I'm done with junk journaling for a while. I'm gonna focus on something else for a little bit. And then, then I always come back to it, you know, but um, like for the longest time after my Renaissance journal, my brain was fried after that journal. And I took a break from journaling for a little while. I did Bible journaling and stuff, but I needed, you know, to take a little break. 
Oh, I like this word mermaid. You might just use that for something. Yeah, always flip your pages over to see if there's anything. I might want that tail too for something. Just to kind of stick out of a page. That would be kind of cool. Let me just cut this real quick. I'm just gonna fussy cut it out just in a general. I might use that sticking out like out of a page or something. Ooh, or I can cut it out and have it. Ooh, that might be cool. Okay, see, more ideas, more ideas. Okay, where'd my mermaid word go? Okay. Okay, let's leave you there just in case. I love the mermaid song. Ooh, let's keep that too. That might be, I could use that for something. See, on this page already, I'm getting so many things out. And I'm sure there's the plunge, creative flow, get into the creative flow. I might keep some of this for the words. I'll just stick it in this book. Okay. Yeah, you can use anything and anything and everything, y'all. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay, a lot of this is going to have to be cut off. Of, okay, I have, let's see. I have some of these things. Let me just grab all this and see if maybe I can figure out a way to use some of this. Okay, so this is going to be, so when she, it's like she's diving into the water, y'all. Oh, that's so cool. So when you pull your tag out, and then when you put your tag in, it's like she's diving into the water, she's coming out of the water. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, <laughs> y'all, I get a kick out of like, just anything. <laughs> Okay, so no matter where I put her on this tag, she's going to show through. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Okay. So let's maybe do that. Let's ink her up a little bit. Oh, but I have these too, so let me think. Maybe with some eyelash trim or something. And we're gonna emboss these and get them all watery looking. Okay, so let's. Anchor up a little bit. Some of this is gonna get cut off. The top and bottom. So sad. I'm gonna keep her all, keep her whole thing, but she just won't fit. Okay. I think like that. Have her just kind of diving in, and then we'll have these over here. Okay. I wonder if there's. I bet there's a way I can make some poofy. Bubbles on her. Actually, do I want? No, I like that blue showing right there. Okay. Some of her tail's gonna get chopped off. Sorry, little mermaid. Should I? Yeah. Yep. Sorry, little mermaid. You can still tell she has a tail. wonder yeah I might use some of these crackle effects either that or no you know what let me see if I have my glossy accents yes clear dimensional embellishment I'm gonna make some uh, when some on the very last thing I'm gonna do while she's drawing at the end is maybe this afternoon I'll put like some bubbles with the glossy accents on here too so let's get this other stuff on here first. Okay, let's move this. 
And we are going to emboss these like we've done before. Let's move that. I don't need you right now. You, I might. I wonder if I could do mermaid magic. Maybe I could find magic or something in here. I'll have to look through the book. Let's see in the glossary. First mermaid, mermaid fair, mermaid song. 38. Oh, that's too big though. I don't want that it's so big. Let's see. Hmm. Mermaid of Muse, the sensory sea, mermaid of love. Oh. Okay, I might have to go through here and I might find like a word phrase too to put on here. But that's in white, so oh, let's see if I can just find something. Lady of the Waters, Mermaid of Zenir. words siren song mermaid's revenge ooh y'all <laughs> siren odysseus the siren making a relationship treasure map <laughs> i didn't even I, i've never read this book y'all i just i found it in the garage i've got boxes and boxes of books and i just kind of dig through to see and i um oh, that's a really pretty picture um just see what they have, see what I have, and oh gosh. Let me see, maybe I can just cut out the mermaid song. We'll see what it looks like once I get these other ones done. My brain is just going in 10 different directions at once, y'all. Okay, what do I need? Versamark. And my clear, where is it? Clear embossing powder, okay. You've seen me all do this before. This makes it look kind of wet and it gives it like a plastic feel, which is pretty cool. We're gonna make these look wet and then afterwards, I'm probably gonna put some of this glossy accents on top to make some bubbles. Um, make some like water droplets and I'll put some in around the Little Mermaid too and I might do um, some of the stickles the shiny stickles perhaps can just kind of fool with it and see same drawer and yet then I still can never find them when I need them. Okay. Let's get this going. Just heat up this little corner real quick. That one and this one. Okay. 
I just love how that looks. Oh, can y'all see that? I love how that looks. It just makes it look so cool. Looks like actual starfish. Okay, let's get this little shell. Come on. Okay, I got my glasses on. Why can I not see this? There we go. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. It looks like you just found a shell on the seashore. I'm trying to get the light. There you go. Like, oh, uh, like it just came out of the water. Look at that. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Okay, so I've got these two. Let's bring her over. Let's see. Thinking of, whoop, it just pulled. Ooh, this might be really pretty. Where's the end? There it is. Things came jumping out at me. Hmm. Do we want both of those or none of them? Y'all, I'm getting decisive again. Actually, I think I want this one closer to her with the brown in. Some reason I think I like the this behind here maybe just kind of bunch it up in some shape or form and then maybe. And let's see, we have this word, or we had the mermaid song. Let's ink this up and see what it looks like. I think I'm gonna do that. These might go up here. I also got this. Ooh, that's really pretty too. Maybe I'll just do a bunch up there. Oh y'all, too many choices. It's so hard. It is so hard. Okay. Okay, let's put that on last. I'm gonna just like do this with the glue because I'm going to go in and sew this too so I'm going to sew around the edges so it'll all get and I want some of that sticking out like that okay now let's get the heavier glue for this let's get it started come on there we go this I might have to have a book sitting on top of it for a little while have to have a book sitting on top of that. Okay. How did I have this? Did I have this on top? Okay. I got the same thing on both sides and it's messing me up. I'm like, which side did I have it on? I 
how did I have this? We'll just kind of tuck it under here. Okay, so let me, hmm, what do I have? I have some gesso here that I can stick on top of that. Or is this, that won't help because it's got a curved bottom here. We'll put this on top. <laughs> Let that sit there for a little bit. Okay, so while that is drying, I'm gonna cut out the little tail. Uh, and I'm gonna put this on the back, glue that one on the back. Like a little tail coming out. And then I'm going to probably take a variety of all these um, threads and I'll put an eyelet up here. Um, let me see what, how much time do I have. But yeah, I'm running out of time, y'all. So I'm going to put an eyelet up here, put a bunch of these threads, and then I have this. I was thinking I could tie, I have a little bulb pin and let's see, oh, they both have scales on it like that. I have this little um, mermaid uh, charm. So I was thinking of doing something like this. We'll see how it looks with all the, the threads maybe hanging down and then I'll tie that in with them. So that'll be on here as well. I'll have to kind of fiddle with it, y'all. But in the meantime, I have to let this dry. And then once this is dry, I'm going to go in. So before I do my eyelid, I'll go in and sew all this. I first got to let this dry. Um, sew all that so it'll be sewn. This tail is going to come out like here or maybe like, oh, maybe like she's diving in the water or something. I'll have to fool with it and see where I want the tail to go. I'll glue that on the back sew that, do my eyelet, do all those, attach this, and then, well, you know what, before I do all this stuff on there, I'm gonna put little circles, like little um, bubbles um, on this with the glossy accents and let it dry overnight. So that's the plan of what I'll be doing this afternoon. And then I'm also going to sew this on the sewing machine, sew this. So sew around this and sew this. So then we'll have this little journal spot and then this little pocket with this tag that I just made in there. So there we go, y'all. <laughs> it's always like me in the process of something. You never see the finished product until the next video, not never. I mean, we've gone through projects before, but like a lot of this is like, you do a few steps, you gotta let it dry. You do a few steps, you gotta let it dry. You know, it's all this underwater stuff. You gotta let the water kind of, you know, take its time. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, the next video, I'll show you the finished piece of this and then we'll move on with the, with the folio. So thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye y'all, have a great weekend.